hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going through cambridge igcsc mathematics paper 1 core from october november 2020 two series this is the recent paper that was done uh, so here are the instructions you can go through take a screenshot and then you can go through that and i request you guys to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and press the like button if you like the video uh, so without any delay let's get started first question that we have here write the number 2 million uh, 800 and you see 2 million 842 thousand then 327 so if we take the places so these are the places that we have here so this is millions so 2 million 2 million and then 840 840000 840000 800 this thousands place and then 327 327 so this is 2 327 right now next we have write down the mathematical name of this type of angle you see this angle is greater than 90 so this is obtuse angle right now measure the length of this line in millimeters so we can measure this length of the line uh, using ruler here I have so it is uh, you see from here 10 it is 70 then this is 80 here but this is 75 76 so this is 76 millimeters right now draw a perpendicular line to this line so we are going to draw perpendicular line here so we can have here uh, you can place your uh, needle on one side and open it more than half then you draw a line like this then the other one with the same radius from the other end then you draw but we have to extend this one because it's not intersecting that one then you join these lines right here with the ruler this point and this point so this is a perpendicular line on the given line so here we have another question uh, in the triangle in triangle pqr pr is 5 qr is 4 using ruler and compasses only construct triangle pqr leave your construction arcs the side pq has been drawn for you so we have pq here so we are looking for uh, you see pq then r will be somewhere here uh, so pq is there already and pr is 5 centimeters so pr from here to here is 5 centimeters so we will open this our compass 5 centimeters from here so this is 5 uh, place it here then open 5 centimeter radius draw an arc from P like this always draw big arc so you never know where it's going to uh, cut the other line so then QR is 4 so we will reduce it to 4 so from here 4 you see so now we can join these lines so this is our point now PQR this is R so then we will have here we can join these lines to draw to make it a triangle so make sure that you make neat lines there so that your diagram looks nice so this one is pr pr is 5 centimeter and this is r qr which is 4 centimeters right now write common multiple of 18 and 24 so we can write down multiples of 18 18 multiples are 18 So these are multiples of 18, 36, you can have 18, 36, 54, 72 and 90. 
just multiply it in by 1, 2 and 3 and then multiples of 24 are 24, 48, 72, 96. So which is common? We are looking for common. Common multiple is 72. So our answer is going to be 72. Now write 32 centimeter as fraction of 2 meters. So first of all we will convert 2 meters to uh, centimeters times 100 that is 200 centimeter. Now 32 centimeter as fraction of 200 centimeters. So then we will simplify. So we can simplify it by 2 which is 16. Then there is 100. Then again by 2, 2 times 8, 50, then 4 then 25. So final answer is going to be 4 over 25. Question 7. The temperature in degree Celsius is recorded at the same time in 6 cities. Uh, you can see we have here 6 cities. Which city has the coldest temperature? Now the coldest temperature will be the one with the highest negative degrees right so which one is the highest uh, the negative one here uh, if we see this one uh, so we see here that we have here negative 5 which is the lowest one so that will be the coldest so the question is which city so we will write here Oslo right now what is the difference in temperature between Helinski and Paris here this so this is negative 2 and 7 so we have 7 this side 0 and we have negative 2 so 7 on this side there is no need actually to draw the diagram I'm just explaining so 2 this side and 7 this side so in total the difference is of 9 degree celsius right question 8 uh, we have these two parallel lines here and some angles are given the diagram shows two straight lines intersecting two parallel lines so there are two straight lines here intersecting these two parallel lines find the value of x so to find out the value of x here uh, we can see first of all uh, we have this x 71 if we can find out this angle you see here then that is on a straight line uh, so to find out this angle if you see uh, this one is going to be 55 because you see this is f shape like this so we are looking for this angle and this angle now this is f shape here you see and this is 55 and this is also be 55 these are corresponding angles so this is a corresponding angle right so that will be equal so that after that we can take like x plus 71 plus 55 is equal to 180 because they all lie on a straight line so then we will calculate x plus 71 plus 55 71 plus 55 which is 126 plus 126 is equal to 180 so x is 180 minus 126 180 minus which is 54 so our value of x is 54 right now number 9 divide 200 in the ratio 7 to 10 uh, in dollars so we have dollars here so uh, the first part is going to be 7 out of the total is 7 plus 3 which is 10 so 7 over 10 and we are looking for out of 200 so out of dollar 200 so this is cancelled 7 times 2 is 14 so one part is going to be 140 dollars and the second part is 3 3 out of 10 right again out of total uh, times 200 3 times 2 6 so it is 60 so 200 is divided into two parts 140 and 60 dollars which is in the ratio 7 to 3 right now this one the birth weight in uh, kilograms of babies are recorded this is the 
बर्थ हुई थी कंप्लीट द स्टेम एंड लीव डायग्राम टू शो दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट दिस वन वी हैव की हेयर ट्वेंटी टू वन स्लैश वन रिप्रेजेंट्स टू पॉइंट वन किलोग्राम सो दैट मीन्स वी आर लुकिंग फॉर द डेसिमल पार्ट टू राइट डाउन हेयर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर टू पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट वन इज इट विल कम हेयर सो लेट मी राइट इट डाउन हेयर बिकॉज इन स्टेम एंड लीव डायग्राम ऑल दीज numbers should be in order right so first we will write here then finally we are going to put back here so 1.66 is going to come here 2.7 there 4.2 in 4 here 2 then 4.0 here 2.2 goes there 3.1 in 3 column 1 here 1.7 is here then 2.6 is going to come here 3.3 is here so write 3 and 7 also here now we will arrange them right this is 6 7 this is already in order uh 1 2 6 7 1 2 6 and 7 then 1 3 and 7 then 0 and 2 You see, so this one is our rough work actually. So then we can rearrange. You can first write here, then you can rearrange. Now let's see if we have not missed anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we have included all the values, right? so next we have find the median so median we are looking for the middle number so first of all we need to arrange them so but we can use this one here because we have already arranged so we will take half of that uh, that means so the median here is uh, we have total 11 babies so 11 over 2 is 5.5 so that means we are looking for the sixth value here 1 2 3 4 5 and then 6 this will be uh, going to be the middle value and this is 2.7 so that is 2.7 looking at the key 2.7 kg will be the median question 11 uh, victoria records the color of each of 240 cars leaving a car park uh, some of this information is shown in this pie chart so these are the colors of the cars here show that 60 cars are blue so we are looking for the number of cars of blue so blue part is here you see this is angle 90 and this is 90 out of 360 right 90 out of 360 but we are looking for out of 240 so times 240 so now we simplify 9 times 4 and this 4 times 6 so this is 60 i'm uh, sorry not a degree 60 number of cars so 60 cars are blue right now next one the rest of the cars are either red or white 110 cars are red complete the pie chart to show this information the rest of the cars so rest of the cars are all here Uh, so they are hundred and hundred and ten are uh, red, right? So write complete the pie chart. So hundred and ten are red cars, and these are out of two hundred and forty. And we are looking for the angle, so we will multiply it by three hundred and sixty. So when you complete this one, so let me just use calculator. Uh, 11 times 360 divided by 24 so we got 165 degrees so 165 degree uh, will be for the red cars on the you know, pie chart so we will draw this angle on pie chart uh, so uh, where is my j zero here it's here so i will start this is the middle point here you can use your normal protractor so this is here 0 you see 0 15 like this so 165 is going to be here this side 165 this one is 150 65 is here this line is 165 so then we are going to draw a line so that means this is 
165 that represents red cars and then the remaining is at the white so this is going to be the number of um, chart for the white cars so right so that's how you are going to complete this question question 12 the price of a computer is dollar 520 the price is reduced by 15 percent in sale work out the sale price so price is reduced by uh, 100 uh, by 15 percent so that means 100 minus 15 uh, that is 85 percent will be the reduced price from this one so what will be the reduced price here so reduced price is going to be 85 percent of dollar 520 so that is 85 over 100 times 520 so you calculate this one 85 times 520 divided by 100 which is 442 so 442 dollars will be the reduced price right now <coughs> number 13 uh, without using calculator work out this one 1 over 3 plus 5 over 6 so to solve this your denominator should be same so 3 times 2 here is 6 we can make it 6 times 2 the same you need to do it up there 2 over 6 plus 5 over 6 so that means 7 over 6 so then we can divide 7 by 6 So 6 times 1 is 6, remainder is 1. So this denominator goes in denominator, remains the denominator and remainder goes up here. So 1, 1 over 6 is the final answer, right? Now, number 14, Mario tests new cars. Um, the probability that car is faulty is 0 0.04. Find the probability that car is not faulty. So not faulty, we are going to subtract it from 1. So 1 minus uh, 0 0.04, 1 minus 0 0.04 is going to be 0 0.9, 9 6, 0 0.96, right? Now, second part, in one week, Mario tests 850 cars, find the number of cars that are uh, expected to be faulty so now uh, we, now we found that 0 0.96 are faulty out of uh, this is the probability sorry so 0 0.96 times 850 so that is going to be 850 times 0 0.96 which is 800 and no no sorry sorry uh, these are not faulty right so we are looking for the faulty cars so this will be 0 0.04 because 0 0.04 are the faulty cars right so 850 times 0 0.04 this is 34 so there are 34 cars that will be faulty right so that's it for this video remaining question we will do in the next one so i hope you guys understood everything uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like the video press the like button and share it with your friends thank you so much for watching god bless you guys see you in the next video